All right, so Eric, you have a question I think that's broadly applicable to anyone here who has been trained in a lineage or a modality, and you are bringing that modality or lineage to the world, and you may be not sure whether how forward you want to be about that modality or lineage, or you could like talk more in other terms about it, but not so, so in Eric, in your case, it's Kriya Yoga. I mean, you have, you carry that lineage. Uh, you are tr not only trained, but you've been representing this modality for years, but you haven't put it out there front and center as like, this is, all, this is what I'm about, Kriya Yoga. Now, well, actually, so, so I have a question about that. I mean, you might want to give the context for why you haven't done that, <laughs> right? I'll give the context. Yeah. It's that in the, uh, here's how I think about it. People don't care about Kriya Yoga. They want what Kriya Yoga will give them. People I see, don't care right. about internal family systems. They want what internal family systems will get them. Right. Whatever modality, we could put yeah. that in there. It's like, yeah. it, it, and it's that, that's well, it's just that old marketing idea. It's like, people don't care about the tool. They care about the problems that the tool can solve. Maybe people don't care about the nail, right? There's that old, people don't care about the drill bit. They care about the hole that the drill bit that <laughs> creates. Idea. That's, they want yeah. the, the problem solved. They want the goal achieved, right? Yeah. Um, but you are saying the other thing yeah. about it being then it's like in terms of my desired audience, like who that who I want to work with. Right. Like if it's like I might want to work with people who are interested in internal family systems because that's my thing. I want to train. Right. People, right. Yeah. I yeah, don't yeah. just want people who want their I don't want to do the therapy. I want to teach the method. Maybe that would yeah. be another way to say it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, Right. So it's kind of like um, the internal family systems is a good, a good example of that, where, um, it, you know, that's an interesting example because it's become more and more well known such that people actually seek out internal family systems. Like my wife, you know, she sees IFS this. She's like, well, what? Is, she's literally taking class right now on like IFS drawing for IFS. I mean, she's, she's never taken a single drawing class in her life. And she saw I, IFS drawing. And now she's taking knife. I'm like, wow, okay. So like, it's become a another example. Recent example is human design. That's right. Or gene keys. Like yeah. when people see that, they light up and go, "Ooh, I want to know how." Or 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 another one. Okay. Um, like trauma healing, that's become big these days too. People, oh, trauma healing for this, trauma healing for that. Like, like it's not just solving the issue anymore. It's the modality itself has taken on yeah. uh, significance for people. So. So then, then I think marketing wise, in those cases, it makes like, I, if, I, if I knew enough about um, trauma healing, I would say, <laughs> I would come up with a new course called <laughs> trauma healing so that your marketing works better or something like that. You know what I mean? Like I would, <laughs> for selling, George, for selling. For sell, trauma healing for selling. You're not selling, you're not getting enough clients because you haven't healed the, the trauma related to selling. Right? It's like, like maybe I can... But I don't know enough about that to do this, something like this, or or like um, or a human design. Well, of course, there's actually lots of stuff out there. Human design for marketing. There's actually already tons of stuff out there about that, right? So now the question is, now before human design or trauma healing got popular, mm -hmm. people were dancing around it, and, and, and you know to get to it. Yeah. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of. Um, I see if I can come up with an, with an example that's like obscure enough where it's like people don't care about that. People care about the thing. I, I'm trying to yeah, yeah. trying to think if any of you can come up with an example. But um, but but with Kriya Yoga, that might be an example where I think it is. It is <laughs> like mean, when it's, you. It's small you enough. A, it's small enough that it's not a it's not a human design. It's not a meme. You know, it's not. It's not a meme. Yeah, it's not a meme yet. It's not. It's, it doesn't have conferences yet. Right. I guess. Now, um, not, no, unless it's within the group, right? It's which, not like which is which is actually quite interesting, uh, Eric. You 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 might. It's like I always talk everyone away from doing telesummits and virtual conferences. Is how much damn work it is. Um, but in your case, Eric, <laughs> this might be like the one exception I would say where Eric, this might make sense for you to do a virtual summit on Kriya Yoga, because it would it might catapult it into into the mainstream, or you know, yeah. 
Um, mainstream in quotes, I hear you. Yeah, mainstream quotes, or, or, or to have, whether you want to do a, a tele-summit where it's, like I said, it's too much damn work because it's all like very compressed in one time frame. but you might do an interview series all about Kriya Yoga. It's like, literally, if I saw it on YouTube, I would see Kriya Yoga as the first two words, the con, you know, Kriya Yoga colon, and then some thing related, some issue or a goal, problem, challenge yeah. people have. That's um, so, so let me just go, going back to the original question is, should you make it front and center? My question, well, okay. So my question back is, have you done some kind of like, like pro and con analysis of what would be the benefits of, uh, uh, of this? So, so that's, that's a potential homework assignment for you. Like I, I, I want to see a kind of a, a pro and con list I for like this, okay. but so you could do that later, but just more intuitively right now, like as you look at the next you know, 15, 20 years of your career, mm -hmm. do you want, do you envision those 15, 20 years to be championing Kriya Yoga? Right. Right. Like, is it. that your legacy? Yeah. Or is your legacy somehow to be a, uh, have Kriya Yoga be more of an undercurrent right. that isn't promoted as an idea. I think that that goes into the pro and con yeah. reflection for me, actually that question. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd like to see what we, what you come up with, with that. Yeah. And then we can have a further discussion. That's helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And if anyone else watching this has any, you know, uh, any other reflections or questions uh, for Eric, go ahead and comment below. And also, since you're all watching this, have you heard of Kriya Yoga? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and would you, okay, so Eric, before we, what, what is another way that you've come, you've come to Kriya Yoga? So like, obviously, all these years, you haven't front and center, but what have you talked about instead? And give us a couple of other topics that you... Okay. Healing fill in the blank karma, healing mother karma, healing father karma, healing family karma. And uh, I've talked about it in terms of, um, well, like of course we're doing now on abundance, you know, it's not make, it's not about money. It's about, you know, perception. And um, I mean, I can go on, on. letting mm -hmm. go of, yeah. you know, and meditation habit, just building a meditation habit. Yeah. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's been a big one. Yeah. yeah. And yet, like, for example, med creating meditation habit is, has so much competition, right? Like there, totally. yes. there's it's infinite so. amounts of uh, YouTube yeah. videos, for example, or podcast episodes or books or articles about that. And so it's like, if you could say building a meditation habit with Kriya Yoga, suddenly it becomes unique. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, so that Kriya Yoga could become a unique modifier to any topic that interests people. That's like one strategy around, like there's several, like the, the strategy you've done so far is to not talk about Kriya Yoga. It's like, it's like Fight Club. <laughs> the number one rule, you don't talk about Fight Club. You don't talk until, about Kriya Yoga. Yeah. Until people join the community, and could, then, then, then they can hear about, about it all the time. Fine. Great. So that, but, but in terms of the front door, front, the, yeah. the, the, ma the mass audience, like, they, right. like one strategy, don't talk about it. Uh, uh, you know, the extreme other strategy is to be super front up center. Like we are Kriya Yoga. <laughs> like you have never heard of it. Come and learn about it. If you're not interested, even hearing the phrase, goodbye <laughs> you know there, there may be some kind of karmic reason that they're not even interested in the phrase right okay so that's like the two extremes and the middle way is to use it as a modifier where you start with meditation or healing karma or whatever it's like something people have heard of and they're searching for with kriya yoga or through kriya yoga have you used kriya yoga to do this it's like yeah so that's the middle that's way nice. and that's that's very valuable and shweta thank you so much yeah, yeah, and just thank you so much for the chats there. So thank you. Thank you.